Good afternoon, everyone. How's everyone today? Well, that was not a really strong response. I think we can do better than that. When I ask, how is everyone today? I'd like you all to respond by saying, great. So how is everyone today? Great. Now that was a much better response. Give yourselves a round of applause. And congratulations, you have just followed your first suggestion of the afternoon. And that's what this demonstration is all about, following suggestion. And the way I'm going to help you follow suggestion is through hypnosis. And that's because I am hypnotist all night, master of the mind. Now that also means I'm going to need some volunteers to help me demonstrate the power of hypnosis. So in a few moments, I'm going to invite several lucky people forward to be hypnotized! The people I'm looking for are people with four important qualities. By the way, can everyone hear me okay? Okay. Now, the four qualities I'm looking for are people with good imagination, good concentration, the ability to follow instructions. And I ask that you're at least 14 if you're going to volunteer. Now the first three, I have some tests on the time to find out how well you respond. The first one is testing your imagination. For this, what I'd like you to do is imagine that in my hand, I'm holding a nice, juicy, yellow lemon. So you're imagining this lemon. Imagine that I'm cutting the lemon in half. And imagine that you're holding on to this lemon. Imagine the smell of the lemon. Imagine the juice dripping down the side of the lemon. Imagine taking this lemon, putting it up your mouth, and sucking on it. And as I did that, I saw a few people kind of going, or ooh, or yum, or something. And if you're one of those people who noticed your mouth water, or pucker, or were kind of thinking, mmm, or oh, raise your hand. All right, that's a good response. Nice job, everyone. Well done. Now the second task is concentration. For this, what I'd like you to do is take your arms and put them straight in front of you, something like this. As you're doing that, I'd like you to close your eyes for just a moment or so. As you close your eyes, I'd like you to imagine that in your right hand, you're holding a very heavy bucket of sand. Just imagine in your right hand, a very heavy bucket of sand. As you're imagining that heavy bucket of sand in your right hand, imagine in your left hand a hundred helium balloons. In your left hand, a hundred helium balloons. In your right hand, that heavy bucket of sand. And as you're doing this, keeping your arms where they are right now, open your eyes, look around the tent. Okay, you know your arms, thank you. And what you no doubt notice is that there are some people who look something like this. Not a lot of motion, not a lot of movement. There are others who look more like this. A little bit of motion, a bit of movement. There are some who look closer to this. Wonderful motion, wonderful movement. Now the final test is that of following instructions. I'm going to do that test for anyone who would like to volunteer to be hypnotized. So right now, if you'd like to volunteer, come on up on stage. Let's get the volunteers up. Come on up. Yeah, come on up here. Let's get some encouragement to these people. Yes. Why don't you just have a seat here? We've got lots of more ropes. If anyone else like to volunteer, come on up. Lead us up to these four people have all the fun. <laughs> well, 
All right. Let's give another round of applause to all of our volunteers. Thank you. Now, as I've said, the final test is that of following instructions. What I'm going to do is ask you a series of questions. If the answer to the question is yes, I would like you to raise your hand something like this. Do you understand these instructions? All right, we're a little slow, but we'll give you another chance on that. Don't worry about it. Now before I run any further, I need to cover some very important safety instructions. I'd like you to take a look down at your feet. You'll notice you are in a wooden stage. If you follow your, that stage out to a point, you'll see there's kind of a line followed by grass. The line goes all the way around. Now that line that you see has a technical term. That is known as the edge of the stage. Now it is important during this demonstration that you stay on this side of the edge of the stage. Because you will be standing up, you will be moving around at times. So be aware, we have a very limited area to work. Also be aware that behind you is very expensive equipment. I do not want people running into that either because that could be very expensive for me. So please try to avoid that. Now if at any point during this demonstration you're not quite sure where you are, just open your eyes. You can have your eyes open and you can still be in hypnosis. So do you understand these safety instructions? All right, now that's the response I was looking for. You've passed the test. Well done. All right, well now it's time to find out a little bit more about our volunteers. Uh, how many of you here are primarily students? Okay, how many of you here primarily work for a living? All right, and how many of you here are primarily lazy bums who sit around getting paid for nothing? I like you, sir. Good news. Those are the most personal questions I'll be asking you for the rest of the day. Sorry, folks, they want me to keep this a clean show. However, I do have two other questions that are very important. First, prior to today, have you been hypnotized? No one. Oh, great, that makes for the best shows. This is going to be fun. And now the most important question of all. Are you ready, right now, to be hypnotized? Excellent, I love enthusiastic responses. And are you ready to see some hypnosis? Yeah. Wonderful. All right. Now I want to make sure you guys can hear me just fine, is that right? Because I know we've got a lot of background noise, but you should be able to ignore that. Okay. What we're going to do is another test. From this test, I'm going to put you into hypnosis. What I'd like you to do is start out with your feet right together, flat on the floor. I'd like you to take your arms and put them straight in front of you, something like this. As you're doing that, I'd like you to focus on your thoughts. Just concentrate on your thoughts. As you're concentrating on your thoughts, I'd like you to press your hands as tightly together as you can. As you're pressing your hands together, I'd like you now to imagine that your hands are becoming glued together. Just imagine your hands gluing together, gluing tighter and tighter and tighter, gluing so tightly together right now that for a few moments, the harder you try to pull your hands apart, the tighter they stick together, starting right now. You may try to pull your hands apart, and the harder you try, the more they stick sticking stick tighter and tighter and tighter. In your case, your eyes are closing, 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 closing as I touch your hands, they drop down your lap. When they reach your lap, they break apart and you relax much, much deeper. Eyes closing, 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 hands dropping down, dropping down, breaking apart as they come down to your lap. Eyes closing, 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 dropping, 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 deeper and deeper. Eyes closing, 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 hands dropping, 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 deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. More and more relaxed. More and more relaxed. Every part of your mind and your body relaxing deeper and deeper and deeper still. 
more and more relaxed, more and more relaxed. And with every word I say, you continue to relax deeper and deeper and deeper. With every word I say, you relax deeper and deeper and deeper still. Focusing now on my voice, concentrating on my voice. And as you focus on my voice, you may at times become aware of outside noises. You may at times notice people laughing or talking or applauding, but if you notice that, you simply focus again on my voice and allow yourself to go even deeper. Allowing yourself to go even deeper, even deeper, even deeper, more and more relaxed, deeper and deeper, more and more relaxed. With every breath you take, with every word I say, focusing more as you continue to relax. But as you relax even more, you now notice that your eyes are closing very tightly. Eyes closing tighter and tighter and tighter. Closing so tightly right now that for a few seconds, the harder you try to open your eyes, the tighter they close. You may try to open your eyes, the harder you're trying, the tighter they're closing. And now relax your eyes. Let your eyes close naturally and normally as you relax even more. Relax even more. Now you notice your arms and your hands becoming very, very light. Your arms, your hands getting lighter and lighter and lighter. So light they're becoming like helium balloons. Arms and hands getting so light they're like helium balloons. Getting so light they begin to want to float and lift and rise up into the air. They may begin to rise and lift already right now, just floating, lifting, rising up and up and up, higher and higher and higher, floating up and up and up. And if you give your hand a little push, that's just enough to get them started, floating, lifting, rising up, rising up, rising up higher and higher and higher still, up and up and up. And you'll notice that everyone responds a little bit differently to these suggestions. As we go through the demonstration, you'll notice that everyone responds a little differently. Now in a moment, I'm going to touch your shoulder. When I do, your hands drop back to your lap, you drop 10 times deeper in hypnosis, and sleep. 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 And sleep. Dropping deeper and deeper and deeper. More and more relaxed. Continuing to focus on my voice as you go even deeper. Even deeper. Now as you relax more, I'm going to take your hands and begin to twirl them in front of you. As I start your hands twirling, they just keep right on going. When I go up your hands, they keep right on twirling. So now your hands just begin to twirl as I take them. Twirling around and around. Just continuing to twirl around and around and around. And as they're twirling around, they begin to go faster and 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 faster. So fast now, the harder try to slow down, the faster they go. Hard try to slow down, the faster they're going. And when I count to three, they reverse direction. One, two, three. Now, reverse direction, the other way, faster, 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 faster. And now when I count to three, your right hand drops, your left hand keeps going at the count of three. One, two, three, right hand drops, left hand keeps going and going and going. And now at the count of three, your hands drop to your lap, you drop ten times deeper. One, two, three, sleep. Dropping deeper and deeper and deeper still. More and more relaxed. More and more relaxed. Now as you continue still deeper, as you each continue even deeper, you now realize that the person sitting next to you is beginning to smell. That person next to you smells like they haven't had a shower in a month. They just smell terrible. And now as you start kind of moving away from that person, you realize it isn't them who smells, it's you. 
you're the one who smells awful. But the reason you smell so bad is when I count to three, you're gonna jump up from your chairs being smelly, ugly monsters. And your job is to try to scare the audience as a smelly, ugly monster. Now be careful to stay on stage as you jump up. But you're gonna jump up trying to scare the audience at the count of three. One, two, three, jump up and stand up! Yeah. Freeze! And you are no longer smelly, ugly monsters. You are now graceful, clean ballet dancers dancing a beautiful ballet. And now just dancing a beautiful ballet. Ballet back in your seat. There we are. Just have a seat right here in the center. And ballet your way back to the seat right now. That's wonderful. Our ballet dancers, everyone. You can have a seat now. And sleep. Sleep. Relaxing deeper and deeper and deeper. More and more relaxed, more and more relaxed. Each of you continuing to relax very deeply, relaxing very, very deeply, very, very deeply. Now I'm gonna have you, sir, stand up for just a moment, the person I'm touching. As you stand up, just take one step forward and relax much deeper. There you go, you just stay standing here for just a moment, that's perfect. Just stay standing there for a moment. As you're doing that, I'm also going to have you stand up for a moment. And just take one step forward and relax even more. Relax even more. Now for two of you, in just a moment, I'm going to snap my fingers. When I do, each of you come out of hypnosis. However, you completely forget you've just been hypnotized. In fact, you are sure you have never been hypnotized. And you are sure I cannot hypnotize you or anyone. However, every time I say the words, ladies and gentlemen, you will jump up from wherever you are, point at me and scream, you are a fraud. So whenever I say the words, ladies and gentlemen, you jump up, point at me and scream, you are a fraud. As I snap my fingers, you come out of hypnosis, forgetting everything we've just done. Sure, you have never been hypnotized. Sure, I cannot hypnotize you or anyone. Uh, John, why don't you just grab a seat right up here in front of you? Just right up here in the front row. Why don't you sit like right front center so maybe the best seat stops. And just continue relaxing deeper and deeper and deeper. I notice we have some more people show up, so I will check. Are there any other ladies and gentlemen who are Would you sit down, please? Anyways, as I was saying, are there any other ladies and gentlemen who are Yes, you said that already. Would you sit down, please? I apologize for these interruptions, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Is there a problem here? Okay. Now, are you guys going to keep interrupting me when I'm talking to these ladies and gentlemen? You are! Okay, that's a yes. Hey, would you guys come up here? Both of you? Come on up. Oh, and what is your name, sir? Moss. Moss? Okay, what is your name? Christian. Christian. Alright, now, Moss, if you're hypnotized. Negative. All right. Now, have you ever been hypnotized? No. Okay, do you think I hypnotized Moss? No. Can I hypnotize you? No. So there's absolutely no way I can walk up to Moss and just go to sleep. <laughs> can I do that? No. Yeah. No. What just happened to him? Fell asleep. So he's not hypnotized. He's just asleep. Well now when I snap my fingers, you come out of hypnosis, completely forgetting your name and the number five. Both your name and that number vanish as if they've never existed. As I snap my fingers, all suggestions in place, plus forgetting that your name and that number. All right, now you've never been hypnotized, is that right? No. Okay, so what is your name? I don't know. You don't know? 
Uh, you having some memory problems? Uh, I'm fine. You're sure? I'm fine. Is it normal? You don't remember your name? Uh, I don't know. You don't know. Let me just do a quick test here, okay? Just do me a favor and count from 1 to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. Fantastic. All right. Now, let me just do one more quick test just to be safe here, okay? Normally, how many fingers do you have on both hands put together? 20. Both hands? Total fingers. Normally, how many? Uh, uh, how many fingers did you have this morning when you woke up? Uh, four. And both hands together? Yeah. Total of? Eight. Eight. Okay, eight fingers. <laughs> let's make sure on that, okay? Just hold on your hand. Let's count how many fingers you have. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You count? Oh, let's try, try counting again. Maybe you just miscounted here. Let's just try one hand. You got it? Well, let's just try one hand, just to be safe. One, two, three, four, six. The other hand starting with what? One, two, three, four, six. Six and six are? Twelve. Twelve. Six. 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 Uh -huh. You don't know. Are you growing fingers? I need uh, you're good? You're good? Okay. And Moss, any idea what your name is? Uh, no. Alright. Well, while I'm doing that, you think I can hypnotize Christian? Nah. Anybody can hypnotize you? No way? Well, why don't you step away from me? Why are you being cautious? What, your friend just going to go sleep? What about that? Uh, he's sleeping. He's sleeping. Well, not when I snap my fingers, you come out of hypnosis, but everything you say comes out like the loud clucking of a chicken. No matter what you say, it comes out like the loud clucking of a chicken. All right, so, have you ever been hypnotized? Okay. You okay? Right. Now, he's having problems counting his fingers. Could I ask him to just count his fingers for us? Hold up your hands, let him count your fingers. Hold up both Go ahead. And how many is that? Okay. Did you get it right? So I think we're in pretty good shape here. So I just want to make sure of one thing. I just want to make sure of one thing for both of you. Are either of you going to continue to interrupt me when I talk to these ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, I'm wrong! I'm sorry, what was that? What's wrong? That's what I thought. All right. Well, in that case, gentlemen, I have only one thing left to say to both of you. Sleep! Now, as I touch your foreheads, all suggestions are removed. Your name is back to you, number five is back to you. You no longer are clucking, and neither of you respond when I say the words ladies and gentlemen. So now you can open your eyes, just want to take a seat right up here in front, just take a seat right here. As you sit back down, once again, sleep. Let's give you a round of applause for Moss and Christian. Now for all of you, for each and every one of you up here, you now all discover you are going back in time. You're going back to the days of King Arthur and his noble knights. In fact, each of you are now knights of the round table. And as knights of the round table, it's your job to slay a fire-breathing dragon that's right in front of you. So everyone, put your swords in your hand right now. Get your swords ready. And when I count to three, the dragon is just one step in front of you. Just jump up and attack that dragon. One, two, three. Get that dragon. Keep swinging. Keep swinging. Keep swinging. Keep swinging. Look out. The dragon's breathing fire. And quick, before you get charged, a couple more swings. A couple more swings. You get him. And you got it. You slay the dragon. You're heroes, everyone. You swords high! Hold your swords high! Our brave and noble knights, everyone! And these are brave and noble knights. Nothing in the world frightens these people. Nothing at all. 
Except that little white mouse just ran in front of you. Go for that mouse! Oh! Hey, hey, bro! Go ahead, take it. Take it out right now, right in front of And you've done it! You've taken out that mouse. Go ahead and pick up your prize and show everybody how brave you are. Our bravest night of all, ladies and gentlemen! It was a safe one. We're just gonna rid of it. Why don't you guys all stand up here for a moment? Because that mouse is gone and you were never really afraid of it anyways. Oh. Now I think they did a great job slaying that dragon. Would you agree? Yeah. Well, in that case, you're each getting a promotion. Gentlemen, you are promoted from knight to handsome prince. In fact, you're now a handsome prince wearing very expensive clothes, looking sharp, looking regal. And ladies, that of course means that you are a beautiful princess, wearing incredibly beautiful, expensive clothes, looking stunning. In fact, everyone, show off how great you look. Yeah. Show off everyone how absolutely great you look. Yeah. Now, as you're standing here looking so great, you also have to notice something started to drip on you from up above. And in fact, it's the outpipe from the bathroom that just burst and spilled all over you. Uh, Ugh, yuck. My hair. You are filthy. Ugh. But thankfully, we have got some fire hoses by your feet. Pick up those fire hoses and spray each other clean. Ooh. And that's really strong water in you. But there we go. Now you've got yourselves all cleaned off. But you're also all wet. You've got to dry yourselves off as fast as you can. Dry yourself off as fast as you can. That's working, you're getting nice and dry, but your clothes are beginning to shrink. In fact, you're starting to get tighter and tighter and tighter. They're so tight now, you can't move at all. You're frozen right where you are, you're frozen in place. And now as you're standing here, your nose begins to itch, and you can't move to scratch your nose. Now when I snap my fingers, you're able to move once again, but the harder you try to scratch your nose, the more you miss. You can try to scratch your nose, but you keep missing. Now, if you open your eyes, you can carefully help your neighbor scratch their nose. You could do that. Help your neighbor scratch their nose. And as you do that, your hand gets caught on their nose. And you can move again. You can move normally again. Your clothes are loose. But now your hands are stuck on their nose. So if I try to pull free, the more they get stuck. in this kingdom. But what we're missing is a court jester, a court fool. That's a great position. It pays really well. It's one of the best positions in the, country, in, the country, in the whole country. So what you need to do is try out for court fool. And to do that, when I count to three, you jump up and be the biggest fool you can be. One, two, three. Jump up and make a fool of yourself. <laughs> I just found out, the king just hired his nephew. That's okay, he, the nephew's a bigger fool than you guys are. But that means we need a profession for these people. So somebody give me a profession. Call out a profession. Waiter. I'm sorry? Waiter. Waiter. You're now a waiter. Go ahead and stand up and try to serve some food to everyone. You've got a real heavy tray of food right now you're trying to serve. Don't trip here. There we go. Let me come on back over this way. Come on back up on stage. Because I'll take another idea. Somebody else. Another idea. Fireman. Fireman. You're now fireman. Trying to put out a fire right in front of you. Don't get those sticks though. Putting out that fire. I got you. Dante's Inferno. You sure? Yes, I got it. It's kind of heavy. Oh, 
stars. You're now rock and roll stars. Go for it. They're now lumberjacks chopping down a tree. <laughs> and it failed, but you did it! In fact, you guys are such great lumberjacks, now you're in the lumberjack contest. In fact, right now as lumberjacks, we're going to try to team up and saw a log in half as fast as you can. You team up and get ready to race for the chop the saw that log. One, two, three, go as fast as you can! <laughs> And it's a tie! You both win! So now we're going after the log roll. You're on that log and trying to hang on to that log while it's rolling. Here we go. The log's starting to roll. Here you go. And you made it through the whole time. You can jump off the log and now sing. once again. Because it's great in Lumberjacks that they work. I've noticed one other talent they have that you guys don't maybe know about. These guys are amazing singers. Every one of them is an amazing singer. In fact, I happen to know that these people are trying out for the next season of American Idol. And in fact, I need to try out you're the finalists. So right now, Give you a few seconds here to kind of catch your breath after all that, after all the exercise, but right now you're going to stand up one at a time and sing to win American Idol. Are you ready, sir? You need a second or two? All right. All right. Give you just a few seconds here to kind of get your breathing back. Ready now? Okay. All right. Let's you be our first contestant. Well, because you're the first end of the line, that's right. And all I ask is to keep it clean. So whatever you'd like, just keep it clean. And I will always love you. I will always love you.
it's your turn in the audience, I need you to pick our new American Idol. As I walk past each person, I'd like you to vote by applause if you think they should win. Sit 
down, you can now relax and sleep. Relaxing deeper and deeper and deeper still. More and more relaxed. More and more relaxed. Well, now I've got some good news. We're almost to Hawaii. Unfortunately, we're running a little behind schedule. So you're gonna have to get off the boat very quickly. In fact, what you have to do is swim to shore. So we're gonna start swimming the way to shore right now. Go ahead and swim to shore. There you go. And now as you stand up, you're walking out to the nice sandy beach. And that's a nice hot beach. Burning hot. And now a wave of water washes over the beach and cools it down. Well, one nice thing about being here in Hawaii is everyone gets lays of flowers. So give each other lays of flowers right now. There we go. What kind of flowers are those? Daisies. What kind of flowers do you have? Dandelion. What are yours? Colorful flowers. <laughs> okay, what kind are yours, sir? Wildflowers. Wildflowers, all right. Well, now, besides the flowers, we also have parrots. So if you hold your hand, you're going to catch a parrot on your hand. Go ahead, hold out your hand. You just caught one. And what color is your parrot, sir? Green and blue. Green blue. Oh, and um, I can tell you this. Your parrot is kind of making a mess and it won't leave your hand. Yeah. And, and sir, what color is your parrot? Parrot blue. And your parrot is giving all sorts of compliments. Thank you. What color is your parrot? And your parrot is telling you funny jokes. <laughs> And what color is your parrot? Gold. Oh, and your parrot is whispering something about a treasure chest right by your feet. If you start digging, you're going to find a treasure chest. Start digging. And what's your parrot saying? He's telling me a banana pie. Okay. And how's your parrot doing? Awesome. He says awesome. All right. And what about your parrot? Oh, yeah, we don't want to worry about it too much. And he seems to like you. And oh, you just found a box down there, a chest. Hey everybody, she just found a treasure chest. Watch it, what do you think's inside? Gold. Well, open up and see what's inside. And it's golden crackers. Well, the parrot thinks it's a treasure. So go ahead, yeah, I think your parrot really needs those crackers. Go ahead and let them go. You didn't let those parrots go ahead and enjoy the crackers. Well, each of you take a seat once again. Because as you sit down, you're now going deep sea fishing. So everyone, cast out your line as far as you can. And you each caught something. Oh, and you caught a swordfish. You caught a shark. You caught a mermaid. And you caught a whale. Now you're starting to pull in that stuff. You pulled in your swordfish. Look out, sir. No, no, you better pull back. You got it, you got it. You pulled it in. And you just pulled in your swordfish. And that shark is suddenly jumping up on the boat and attacking. Quick, you your swordfish. Get rid of that shark. There you go. You've done it. She's taking care of it for you. Now you've all pulled in. You've now pulled in your catches. You've done it. Everyone stand up and show up what you've caught. Our fishermen, everyone! And if you'd like, you can put your catches down. We'll have them stuffed and mounted for you. So, can they have them stuffed and mounted? Sure. All right. All right. Well, thank everyone. Stay standing for a minute. Stay standing up for a moment, please. Because now, you're no longer standing on the boat. You're now standing on your surfboards, on the water. And you are amazing surfers right now. And here you are surfing along. As you're surfing along, here comes a really big wave. And you're so good, you can do tricks on your surfboard. Go do tricks on your surfboard. And now this next wave washes you back to the chairs on the beach. Wipe down. Our surfers, everyone. Now you've got some time to relax here at the Luau. However, we may have come to the wrong Luau because when I snap my fingers, you're going to open your eyes and discover everyone in the audience is sitting here in their underwear. Everyone in the audience is in their underwear right now. Oh, 
Stop. Well, now, now as you're sitting here, you hear a telephone ring. Sure. And it's coming from your shoe. Your shoe is ringing. Everyone, answer your shoe. Hey, get up, huh? Oh, and it's it's a prize committee. What's up? They made a terrible mistake. They gave you this prize yeah. because they thought you were the Taylor County Fair cheerleaders. So unless you can do a huge cheer for the Taylor County Fair, you're gonna have to pay for this trip. So now everyone, hang up your shoe. I'll give you a moment to put it back on properly. Take the time you need. Okay, give everybody as much time as they need to put the shoe back on. Now I've got some good news for you. All of you are the Taylor County Fair cheerleaders. In fact, when I count to three, you're going to jump up and do a huge cheer for Taylor County Fair. So at the count of three, jump up, be great, awesome cheerleaders. One, two, three, go! Once again, and sleep. Well, in just a few moments, I'm going to bring each of you out of hypnosis. When I do, you're going to forget the details of what happened. You remember you were hypnotized, you remember you had a wonderful time, but you forget the details. However, after you're out of hypnosis, the first two times, and only the first two times, I say the words, Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You jump up yelling, the British are coming, the British are coming. You jump up yelling, no they're not, no they're not. You jump up like a jack-in-the-box going, boing, 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 boing. And you start thinking that you're a pirate. So now, to count of five, you come out of hypnosis, forgetting the details of what happened, but remember you had a wonderful time, and greatly enjoyed being hypnotized. One, feeling good. Two, feeling very good. Three, feeling wonderful. Four, feeling great. And five, eyes open. Take a deep breath and stretch a bit. Refreshed, alert, awake and aware. Feeling good, feeling wonderful, energized. Let's give a big round of applause for our volunteers. Now before we wrap up, I just want to check something with each of you here. Um, I have filmed this for promotional purposes. Do any of you object if this shows up on the internet? So it's okay, I mean, I'll, I'll be posting this to YouTube in the next couple of days. So if you guys want to see what happened, look for Hypnotist All Night on YouTube, and we'll have it up there for you. And look for Taylor County Fair. <laughs> so with that, I'd just like to say, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You can sit back down. And before we let everyone go, I'd just like to let you know, today you've seen some fun, interesting, fascinating things with hypnosis. But hypnosis has a more serious side as well. It can be used to help people quit smoking, lose weight, reduce stress, improve your studies, your job, your sports, anything you'd like to change or improve. And if anyone has any questions you'd like to know more, or would like to experience hypnosis and want to come up here, please come over and talk with me. I'd like to stick around for a few minutes afterwards and talk with you and give you more information. So with that, I'd just like to say, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Surprise! You're coming! You can have a seat once again. And just to make sure all suggestions are moved, I'd like to say one last time, thank you ladies and gentlemen, 